What do you think about uh, Ronnie Coleman? Um, Ronnie, I've met him a couple of times, and I've always found him to be the most wonderful human being to me. He's a beautiful person. Yeah. I've seen him interact with other people. He's just a magnificent human being. Yeah. Something incredibly special. But I don't think the people who he was getting cracking his back and things like that yeah. was helping anything. And in fact, if I, I'm, that was my speculation at the time when he came to Olympia and his, he clearly had a neck disc injury. Yeah, his lap and But everything. where did that come from? Yeah. Um, was there a manipulation under there that caused that? Right. I looked at those things and I was thinking, I would have a suspicion that the treatment Ronnie had wasn't really helping. Right. And then I look at his technique. <laughs> and how strong he was. Yeah. So with the sloppy, floppy technique. I had a guy who's a, who was well known as a strength coach in Australia, he yeah. called himself. And he's very proud of how he deadlifted, say, 300 kilograms at the age of maybe 18. Right. And then you look at him at 40, and what's the most weight that he's ever deadlifted in his life? Right. 300 when he's 18. Really? Yeah. And then he's still talking about using what the same did. technique. Yeah. Well, that's the one that you're, you're injured so much with. You don't, you don't have the body that actually has that elastic capacity. Right. You're 40. You're right. 40, you're over 40. Right. 18, you had a very different body. Yeah. Technique changes as the resilience of the body has to change as well. Yeah. So you can't get away with that no. forever. You've got capacity. Good. Don't use it up all just then with poor technique. Yeah. Maintain your capacity like a bank balance with great training, great volumes, correct programming, and you will end up a bit more like yourself now. We've got to this point where we're actually pain free. Yeah. Looking for the answer to your sleepless nights, sore muscles, and better overall well being? If so, Power X Strength CBD has you covered. All of our products are made of CBD isolate and have 0% THC, meaning there are no worries of failing a drug test or the worry of feeling high. With Power Act Strength CBD, we offer a wide range of products and payment options to ensure you have the option that best fits your needs. Don't just take it from me. All of our reviews and client testimonials on our site speak for themselves. You can even get 20% off your order by using code YT1306 at checkout. Go to PowerActStrengthCBD.com to order now so you can get back to sleeping, recovering, lifting, feeling, and being better. Do you think, uh, going back to Ronnie, do you think that part of his uh, injury and lack of recovery, along with the bad people in his corner, it seems like, yeah, or people that maybe just made some bad calls, I don't want to say yeah. there, there's malice involved, but they yeah. just, you know, it doesn't seem like it worked out very well. Maybe to the best of their ability. Right. Do you think that some of what happened to him was self-inflicted? Not just the way he trained, mm -hmm. but seeing him in the gym doing leg presses, you know, a couple of weeks after a fusion because he refused to stay out of the gym. He has to work out every day. If he was advised that that was a very bad idea, then the onus goes on him. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I wonder what he's told. Yeah. So were the, were the bumpers up for him saying, you should not do this, you have to wait this long? Yeah. Or were they not? We'll never know. It'd have to be a court case, right? Yeah. Or as Ronnie could say, um, if that was important to say, I was told to do anything different or I wasn't told to do anything different. You know, when I remember seeing one of the clips of him doing some shrugs after he'd had the fusion, and you looked at that spine just bending like a fishing rod. And I'm wondering, has anyone, has no one ever taught Ronnie about hip hinging? Has mm -hmm. anyone ever taught him how to move perhaps without pain that he could have possibly been moving without pain? I, I bet no one ever showed him how to slide his hands down his thighs and how to stiffen his core a little bit, use the peck and lat strategy. Yeah. And, uh, Use his hips to grab something. I would be, well, yeah. I don't sure. think I don't think where he is, is today was inevitable. I agree with that. Mm. I agree. Yeah. I, it, you know, there, there's no guarantee that people are going to get out of back pain, but there's definitely injuries and ten surgeries, twelve surgeries mm. where you can look back and say, you know what? It's easy to play hindsight 2020, but there's a lot of people that apparently dropped the ball here. You know, with, you know, I, I was listening to Hulk Hogan's pod, podcast oh, yes, yeah. with Theo Vaughn the other day. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. Great podcast. And uh, Hulk's like, you know, brother, I've had 25 surgeries in the last 10 years and 10 on my back. It's like someone's dropped the ball with 10 yes. surgeries on your back. Like some, either you're not following or you're getting bad advice, combination of both, but 10 back surgeries. Mm. That's pretty shocking. 
as interesting as to look at the statistics. Can't on, walk across the room, he said. Really? Without a cane, can't walk across the room. Yep. There's a lot that could be still done yep. with that sort of human being. I, I always have strong belief yeah. that with the right person, that they can improve dramatically. For sure. But yeah, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to look at all that surgery because a neurosurgeon I work with is Dr. David Johnson. Now, we both have the belief that if you look at the statistics, about 50% of fusions fail right. within, say, five years, right. and they're accommodating other levels than need fusion. Yep. And it's not a failure of fusion surgery. Right. It's a failure of the rehabilitation professional yeah. after the surgery. Yeah. Because no one addressed the cause for the first fusion. Yeah. And if you address that cause from the first fusion, you'll find a fusion surgery probably has a close to 100% success rate. Yeah, people need fusions. They need they fusions do. sometimes and, you know, and they have to still rehab and they're not taught to rehab. They're taught to start, they're taught, and I see it. Like, I'm like, who wrote you this program? It's like, oh, my PT from the surgeon. They just get a spine fusion, you know, L4, L5, S1, all fused together, yeah. cage and rods and everything. And then they're like, here's this mobility program they had me doing right away on their like touch knee to chest touch their toes right away it's just like oh my god yes we do need another surgery in five years setting yeah, it up for the next payment sooner. plan yeah because all those things are totally avoidable that should not be happening the initial cause or the initial reason for that fusion or that person should be understood hope you enjoyed today's video remember like subscribe share click the notifications because we drop videos twice a week we also have a live stream every friday where i answer your questions click below to see the latest video that we uploaded also for our products our cbd our books that correspond with these videos it's down in the description for more information about all things brian carroll and power rack strength go to powerrackstrength.com you could book a consult both virtually and in person with me Enjoy your week and thank you so much.